Hello, welcome to Christine's Kitchen. And if you're anything like me, this summer has been like go, go, go from one thing to another thing. I'm running the kids all over the place and I barely have a moment to think about dinner at all. So today I am bringing you four easy, fast, delicious, and healthy sheet pan dinners for you and your family. They literally come together in less than five minutes and you can have them on your table in 30 minutes or less. So without further ado, give this video a thumbs up for me and let's get right to the cooking. Oh, by the way, yes, the recipes will be down in the doobly-doo. Oh, hello, empty sheet pan. It looks like he is about ready for some deliciousness. Now, this is going to be, I keep saying this, this is gonna be so dang easy. This is like, why do we make dinner complicated? That's what I wanna know, because it doesn't have to be. Check it out, you're gonna die. Potatoes. My good friend, the Brussels. Look at this, doesn't this look amazing already? We're gonna go with some Earl. Does that remind you of that song? Is that the Dixie Chicks? Wait, did they change their name? The Chicks, is that what they're called? That song Earl, do you know what I'm talking about? If you know what I'm talking about, Give this video a thumbs up. Onto this, you are going to add uh, your favorite seasoning blend. I am using the 21 Salute, wait, 21 Seasoning Salute from Trader Joe's. I'm not kidding, you could literally use salt and pepper and that's all. I believe this one has salt in it. Onion, spices, no. Okay, this one does not have salt in it. So I'm gonna do this one and salt. So I'm gonna go pretty heavy on this because we want our food to taste good. You know what I'm saying? Where's my salt? I'm telling you, living with other people, they take all my stuff and I can't find it ever. Okay, generous heaping of salt because these are potatoes. Potatoes can handle a good bit of salt. Do not be afraid of the pep, my friends. A grazie. Give this, you know, a nice massage. Ask it how it's, how it's doing. Maybe we could go on a date later. Ask it out for drinks. You just wanna get all that oil and seasoning like covered. Especially, especially in these Brussels, you want it to get in all of those little grooves. Here's the annoying part, is to make these uber crispy, you wanna put all the cut sides down. That's Brussels sprout and potato. Just go through it real quick, make sure all those potato sides are down, the Brussels sprouts are down, and that'll give you a super delicious crispy cut side. Me personally, I'm a huge fan of crispy food. You give me crispy food and I am going to be happy. I'm so happy. Did I get all of it? Okay. Next, the crowning jewel. My favorite cut of meat, sausage. This is an andouille sausage and I'm just sprinkling it on top. It's gonna be amazing. All that fat's gonna render out and the potatoes are gonna cook in it and the Brussels sprouts are gonna cook in it and it's gonna be so good. That's just one pound of sausage. Now we're gonna go in a 425 degree oven for, I don't know, like 20 minutes and then we will check it. You get it? We're gonna check it, check it. Are you looking at this? I can't even. If you have a bigger family, you might need to do um, two pans of this. As it is, I would imagine it would feed approximately four people. Now you can obviously bump up the volume of this meal by adding a side salad, adding some bread or something on the side, or maybe just a whole nother pan of taters. But definitely a family of four right here. Now this one I'm actually sharing with my mom because my mom says it's really like just not fun to cook for one. You know what I mean? So I have like half the plate with all of this stuff. And then I do have a bagged salad. I'm gonna take over to her so she can have a little bit more veggies, but I wish you could smell this. The smell of the sausage with the salty potatoes. It's just heavenly. We are making a sheet pan dish I'm very excited about because it's easy and it's Cajun. <laughs> so I've started with six ears of corn. They've been shucked obviously and cut into quarters. And this is big enough to feed six people definitely. So you're gonna need two sheet pans for this. I have my oven preheating at 425 degrees. If you have convection, go ahead and do that. Now I have one pound of the mini sweet peppers and you could cut these in half and take the seeds out. But I find that there's so few seeds anyway that, I mean, this is all about Easy, speed, look how beautiful these are already. I absolutely love looking at vegetables sometimes because of the gorgeous colors. Look how amazing this looks. Tell me you're not already excited about this dinner right here. Next up, I have some fresh thyme it. <laughs> what? 
fresh thyme. If you get your hands on some of this, I usually like to keep it in my freezer. It does turn a little brown that way, but it's okay. I'm just gonna kind of pull some of the seeds like this and then just sprinkle the whole thing over that. This is definitely not fancy. We'll call that, what, persnickety? This is just like, get it on the pan, right? Next up, a little sprinkly dinkle of olive oil. Is that a weird word? Sprinkly dinkle? <laughs> oh. Well, you know, a healthy drizzle of olive oil here, mostly because this, uh, this bottle does not have a small spout, so it just kind of globs out. And your favorite Cajun seasoning. Now, this is not my favorite one. My favorite is Uncle Tony's, but I did pick this one up on clearance a little bit ago because I love Cajun seasoning. So let's just use this one up. And we're gonna give it a generous teaspoon sprinkle on each pan, maybe a teaspoon and a half, you know, whatever. And get in there and mix it all together. Now we're gonna add our chicken. I have six pieces of boneless, skinless chicken breast, so I'm gonna kind of like spread out my veggies so they can kind of come in the middle here. Now I'm doing three pieces for each sheet pan here. The chicken will also have a little drizzle of olive oil and our Cajun seasoning. Now, depending on the brand that you use, you might have to add salt and pepper. Mine has salt in it already, so I will not add any salt here. Make sure you give it a little flip -a get both sides. If you're not familiar with Cajun food, they spice their foods heavily. Time to throw it into our oven for about 20 to 25 minutes or until everything's about done. You are so beautiful. Oh, do you hear that sizzle? I love that. It's like they're excited to go to dinner. Are you ready for what we are going to do to these veggies? It's gonna be epic. Gonna be legendary. Just finished watching How I Met Your Mother, so the leg legendary thing is on my mind. So I'm taking the chicken out. You know, we have all this delicious sauce and everything, but we're gonna add another one. I'm gonna top the veggies with your favorite hot sauce. Now, since this is Cajun, Tabasco would have been the way to go, but I don't have any right now, I have Cholula. So that is what I will use. So just a little sprinkly sprinkle like this, and then toss, toss all your veggies in that juice, the hot sauce, and now we can start plating. You could even dump all of this on a platter and let everyone just kind of pick their own. Oh, I might do that. Now that I'm thinking about it, that sounds like a good plan. So I'm just gonna do this big mixing bowl. And here comes all of my delicious veggies with the hot sauce. And I mean, you guys like onions? Throw some onions in there. You like cooked celery? Throw some celery in there. You can put in whatever veggies you want. And I'll sprinkle a little more Cholula on top of that. I mean, you could do sriracha, you could do whatever. And if you've got a lot of kids that don't wanna dig into that kind of stuff, just serve it at the table and let people do their own. So far you've seen some amazing dishes for your humans, but let's not forget to feed your furry little friends as well. And thank you to Solid Gold Pet for sponsoring today's video. Now, if you haven't seen Speedy before, he is our toy poodle and he's a rescue. He's 10 years old. And because he wasn't treated very well earlier, he's actually lost most of his teeth. So he kind of has a hard time with a lot of foods, but thanks to Solid Gold Pet, they have a variety of options that work really, really well for him. They have a toy and small, dog variety that are really, really small that he can eat. He loves the bone broth topper. And we recently picked up the bone broth stew and the wet dog food as well to kind of help Speedy eat a little bit better. We've been using it here at our house for several months now, and they have a recipe for any dog or cat's dietary needs, including healthy whole grain, grain-free options, wet foods, supplements, including sea meal and the 100% human grade bone broth for dogs. The company was started in America in 1974 by Sissy McGill. Right now to save 30% on select solid gold products, go to solidgoldpet.com slash FFM. I do have a link down below in the doobly-doo. That's solidgoldpet.com slash FFM to save 30% on select solid gold products. First link down below. Thanks to them for sponsoring today's video and let's get back to the human food dishes. I hope you like shrimp because this is a delicious, about four ingredient shrimp sheet pan dinner. So we're gonna start with two cups of cherry tomatoes right there. Look how beautiful those are. I did give them a quick rinse. One to two pounds of 
peeled and deveined thawed shrimp. I'm gonna do a full two pounds here because I do have six people in my family that I'm trying to feed. If you have fewer than that, one pound is probably gonna be just fine. Next up is some olive oil. So we'll give everything that's on here a little bit of a drizzle. You could also use butter. I, I personally love butter. I think it's delicious. Some salt to your heart's content. And here's my tip when it comes to salting your food, especially when you're roasting like this, is put as much salt as you think you need and then add a little bit more. Next up is some fresh pepper. Fresh pepper. Oh, sure. Oh, a grazie. And if you're into that garlic life, let's add some garlic. I know this is upside down because I'm trying to get the last little bit out of this. Fresh garlic would of course be better, but this one is just so convenient. So don't be shy. I'm trying to use up the rest of this. Come on. I wanna get rid of this condiment out of my refrigerator. Let go. Is that enough? Is that enough? Okay. Is it easier just to do this? Yes. I feel dumb for not taking the lid off earlier. <laughs> that is now empty. A hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Before we throw this in the oven, I'm gonna give it a little, a little zhuzh, a little stir. We want all of these flavors to be totally combined. 400 degree oven for 10 to 15 minutes, depending on your oven. Once your pan comes out of the oven, mine took about closer to 15 minutes. I'm gonna take one lemon and your lemon juicer and squeeze this all over the top. And you can serve this just like this with a salad or some bread on the side, or you can serve it on top of pasta, which is what I am doing. So I had half a box of penne that I am cooking over here in a different pot that is almost ready. So we're gonna stir all of this together in just a moment. I'm gonna add a little bit more pepper. What do you think on the salt, Haley? I think the salt's good. It salt level. Okay, we got, we got the pepper. Yeah, it's just a little bit. This is essentially a chicken and veggies dish. You could use whatever cut of chicken. I'm using thighs because I love thighs. I just think the dark meat flavor is so delicious. And you can use whatever veggies you want. Turn it aside, keep the skin, don't keep the skin. It feels like I'm not keeping the skin. <laughs> just because it pulled off so easy. So there's six thighs in here, so this in theory, could feed a family of six, although my kids really like to eat two thighs per person because this is a pretty small serving. Depending on the side dishes that you serve, um, if you were to bump this up with a serving of rice or bread or salad or something like that, I think you could probably get away with feeding six people. Otherwise, I would say this one would feed four, I think. And I have my oven preheating at 425 right now. Those skins just like pulled right off. These do have the bones in them. So you don't need to worry about overcooking this chicken. It's not going to get dried out or anything, which is another reason I love dark meat is because it's really hard to mess it up. Maybe I'll just move all my chicken to one side and all my veggies will come over here. So I have my three bell peppers that I just chopped up. That is a lot. It'll be fine. Also, I'm gonna use this. Woo! I just threw it on the floor. Oops. Um, this broccoli and cauliflower mix right here. Some of these are really big. Look how huge that is. I'll just cut that in half. Now, at this point, you're basically just adding your favorite seasoning. And I'm using a pre-mixed seasoning packet today. I found this one at Ross and it's been sitting in my pantry and I need to use it, so here we are. But you can just use salt and pepper. If you use enough salt, it'll taste perfectly good. You can use a Mrs. Dash kind of thing. You could use Uncle Tony's. You could do just whatever. So I'm gonna give this a good drizzle of oil so my flavoring will stick. There is salt in this. I'm just double checking. There's quite a bit of salt in this, so I don't need to add extra salt. 425 for 20 to 30 minutes, depending on your oven. Okay, update on the sheet pan dinner. I ended up separating these because my chicken thighs are taking a very long time to cook and my veggies are about done. So the veggies are coming out. I still want them to be like a little like cooked, but slightly crunchy. You know, I don't want them to be mush. You know what I mean? So here are my roasted veggies. Those are coming out. They look delicious. And I'm gonna leave my thighs in, I don't know, another 10 minutes. They are really taking a long time. Bye bye thighs. What I love about sheet pan dinners is that they're so dang easy. Like this is one of the easiest things that you can put together. Essentially, we're putting together a protein, like pick your favorite protein, your favorite veggies, and some seasonings on top, and bada boom, bada bang, you've got dinner. 
in like 20 minutes. The only thing that would make it better is if I could do all of that in my air fryer, if they made an air fryer that could hold as much as a sheet pan. I haven't found one yet. If you found an air fryer that can hold that much, I would rather do it in that. Cause I still claim that air fryer veggies taste better than roasted veggies in the oven. I don't know what it is. It's just, that's a whole other issue. And I can go on my little spiel about my love for air fryers. But as a reminder, all of the recipes are down below. And if you want to try out solid gold pet food for your dogs or cats, I will have a link down below for you for a little bit of a discount. Our dog Speedy loves it. And thanks for hanging out with me today. I'll see you in the next video.